Hey everyone, um, I just thought today um, I'd do a quick video on some tips and tricks just to help you out uh, on uh, operating a mini excavator. Now uh, I will start off with saying uh, to everyone who has uh, subscribed uh, this year and last year, uh, thank you very much. Um, I hope the uh, videos are keeping you entertained or informed um, certainly don't do what I do anyway so um, yeah we're going to take you through a few things and uh, yeah we'll uh, make life a little bit easier now um, you know I'm no uh, expert uh, I've only got about I don't know roughly three four thousand in the seat um, three four thousand hours I guess I don't know um, out of guess um so you know do what i do don't do what i do um none of it's really dangerous uh it's just designed to sort of make things a little bit easier on the site make things a little bit easier on the machine um and you can show off to your neighbor's wife if that's what she's into if not show her you all right so um yeah i think first things first we'll sort of sort out turning um what I will do is show you the wrong way and then I'll show you the better way. So let's do that. the wrong way because uh, I mean look what I've done to my lawn I've uh, yeah that's not coming back anyway so that was the wrong way and uh, I mean you can see it's hard on the machine it's hard on the tracks um, you know especially on gravel you'll fill your tracks up with gravel and get them all through the sprockets so that'll add to wear and tear anyway so um, here's a little tip to do it the right way I'll do it and then I'll uh, show you how I do it. Okay. Alright, so um, I just did basically a full 180 there and that little tuft of grass there is all the damage. Actually, I think that was from before anyway. Um, so, I mean, I didn't do that overly that smooth because the, the machine's actually cold. So, uh, hydraulics are still a little bit sticky. Um, so, now I'll show you how I do that. got to get a heat cam. So really you want to measure your blade down there. You really want to stick your doing this one handed bucket out at about I find about 45 degrees and sort of flat. And you want to lift yourself up. Okay? So and then basically this pedal is your right hand pedal, uh, your right hand track, I'm turning this way, that way, so basically as I'm doing it, I'm swinging my whole boom the opposite way, so I'm, I'm pushing this, this way, and I'm pushing my pedal down, And you can see that it's just traveling around. Now you can also, if you want to, opposite on your pedals, which will keep you more in place. But, you know, so that's the way to do that. 
All right, so that's that. Uh, I think next we'll do things, picking things up. All right, so there's a little bit of firewood down there uh, came from that pile um, that I want to get from there to over there. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can... You can get underneath it and grab it. Now, the problem with that is that if it's on gravel, you're going to grab gravel as well. Alright, you're going to grab grass, you're going to, you know, I mean, sometimes you can, if you're a bit of a novice, you know, sometimes you can end up grabbing the, the dirt as well and scraping the grass off. Um, so, I mean, you can do it slowly, you can do it quickly. Hey, get back up there. You can do it slowly, you can do it flipping it over like that. Um, you can you know give it the old flip into the bucket. Um, you could turn it over like that. There's there's a lot of different ways to do it. But like I say, you know, I'll put it on this bit of dirt here. If you want to try and pick it up, see, I mean, already I'm starting to get some dirt, some crap, and, you know, half the time you're going to actually end up just pushing it around anyway. If you're a little bit off, if you're not flat, you'll end up scooping over it like that, you know, I mean... not the easiest way to do it, but that takes... A bit of practice, you know, you can have some fun with it. Uh, I think next up we'll show you grading some gravel. Alright, uh, just screwed my gravel up a bit just to show you. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this as well. Uh, you can either use the bucket, you can use the dozer blade. Uh, I use both. Um, if I've got a big pile of gravel um, I will uh, usually spread it out with the bucket and then finish it off with the blade and back drag it because uh, it just you know it flattens it out a lot quicker um, so we'll show you this is basically how to do it with the blade now you can use the bottom of your blade is flat so yeah, don't ever think that you have to always use your cutting edge like that. Because that way it's really easy to, you know, to actually dig in and make a hollow like I've just done. So what you can do, I'll just flatten that out. And that will actually give you a nice flat surface. Now as I'm doing that, as I'm doing that, I'm actually what I'm what I'm doing with the bucket is um, as you're bringing it in you're actually doing that very very slowly with a bucket just to keep that tip just just either just on the gravel or just above it so that the bottom of your bucket or that cutting edge there is doing all the work so I mean you know you can see that it's quite a big flat area so why not use it you know So again, hang on. 
And if you've got lumps and bumps, it'll actually collect that. You know, and then you can fill in lower areas. I don't know if you saw that, huh? It's so hard to hold this camera. Now the other way to do it is uh, with your blade. Now, um, you can run forward. Okay, so to show you what that did, so that really sort of takes takes it takes out the highs and that's more quite aggressive way of doing it. What I like to do again trying to do this one hand. I like the back thread. This thing, it'll, it'll go, it'll jump down to low, no it's not going to do it now, <laughs> oh, there it goes, then it'll go low fuel and then it'll go, uh, ah, no we're okay, <laughs> Damn thing. anyway, so um, yeah see anyway, that's grading, so you can do a fairly large area uh, just by back dragging, so I'll, um, I'll just show you how I do that. how to get down banks uh, or slopes um, and do it safely now um, these are you know slopes are enough to scare the shit out of anybody um, I have a no fairly um, uh, fairly experienced guys who go yeah nah I'm not going down there now, there's two ways to do it. One is, I mean, this this slope is it's quite a slope. I'll show you. You've probably seen this on my other videos anyway, but um, you know, so it's about I don't know 40 degrees, I guess. Um, so I'll do it, and then I'll uh, explain it.
Right, so you see, saw the way that I did that was by uh, putting my blade down. And obviously, if you're a novice, you don't want to know, really know how to go down a slope like that because you will end up. Uh, um, so, and and I know that slope. Most slopes like that are going to be wet, and slippery, or dry. Could be, you know, gravelly underneath. You don't know. You could go for a ride. Um, you know, <coughs> the, the safest way to do it is actually to go down backwards with your <coughs> bucket up in the air like I did. Um, and that's the easiest way to uh, go down. So, uh, go down the slope. Not Asian. Um, so, yeah, so that was that one. Uh, right, let's find something else. Okay, the other thing I want to talk to you about is uh, your blade. Always use your blade down when you're digging, uh, when you're moving things around, even if you're just sitting, um, because you'll walk into the damn thing like a tow ball, and um, it, it's it's there as a main part of stability for the machine. That's why it's there. It's not there uh, just to uh, push things around. So. Um, now I've got a, obviously a load in the bucket. Now what I want to talk to you about was tipping. Um, now if I was to take, say this was gravel or wet sand or dirt or whatever and I'm loading it from here to over here, um, as I uh, load, get the load on the machine, you want to, um, I need a place to mount this thing. Um, okay, so as you get a load on the machine, bring it into you. That's your center of gravity. Then turn. Then unload. Okay. That. that when you're digging it actually gives you more force as you're pulling into you so you can actually dig more um, you know there's there's a, a, a rule of thumb that you never dig over your drive motors anyway so uh, which are you know this 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 end of the tracks uh, so yeah so anyway, um, getting the machine in the air uh, cleaning and uh, cleaning cleaning your tracks out now occasionally you'll get a point in time where your tracks will get gravel and crap in them um, and you know you really want to be able to clear your track out now basically that's as simple as um, lifting the machine up and just rotate the track in the air And then go backwards. You know, it, it, it clears all the crap out of the track. So I'll, uh, I'll put you on the uh, ground and show you how that's done.
Alright, so this will be the third time I've done this. Uh, corrupt, corrupt files and... Jeez, oh, doing my head in. Anyway, um, so you saw that um, machine up in the air and that makes it handy to uh, check the tracks or, uh, you know, um, check your track uh, tension, the undercarriage, uh, leaks, uh, clear a bit of mud out, uh, all sorts of stuff. But uh, don't ever get under there unless it's uh, supported because uh, it'll fall on your face and you're not going to look good after that happens. So, uh, yeah, so that's that. So, um, yeah, I haven't uh, done a lot of filming lately. Uh, coming towards the end of the year, I'm going to take a bit of a break. And, um, uh, you know, I, I've just done a, just finished a, a big project with, um, for a house lot. And the uh, camera was corrupt, or the uh, hard disk was corrupt the whole time. So that was the end of that, but I've taken some photos, um, I'll put them in here. So uh, that's that. So that was all done with a uh, well that machine, which is a 2.6 ton. So um, and that was done in uh, two and a half days, including taking out uh, very heavy grass and a lot of it. So uh, that took half a day just on its own. Um, so yes, yeah, so anyone who tells you you can't do a major project with a uh, mini digger can uh, kiss my ass. So that's it. Um, we'll see you in the new year. Uh, have a good Christmas, good New Year's. Don't drink and drive and uh, be nice to your wife. See you later. Get to work.